Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined again by my friend Jessica. Hi. She joined us in our last video where we unboxed my spring FabFitFun video. So if you haven't checked it out already, go do so. And yeah. give it a thumbs up. Yeah, and subscribe. Today we are unboxing my March BoxyCharm for 2020. This is the BoxyCharm Premium. I also have the BoxyCharm Luxe and that will be a separate video. The exciting thing about this box is it was their first time ever doing a one brand only and it was all Fenty Beauty products. So that Can't was super exciting. Can't wait to try exciting. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to do BoxyCharm with both of us because the way I do my BoxyCharm videos is I like to try it all the products on so I can give you a first impression of it. But since we have different styles, skin tones, skin types, different wants, different needs, I, I thought it'd be good to have another person's uh, opinion, I guess. So. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what all the products are first and then we will try them on, give you our opinions, all that fun stuff. So I'll just go down the list of what's on the card. The first one is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter and it is in the shade Trophy Wife. This is a super, super popular highlighter. This retails for $36. I love the imprint in it. The only thing that I think about this highlighter is it is not meant for my skin tone. This is super gold and I, I don't think... I think maybe Maybe on a night out, depending where you're going, a concert, I think it would still look really nice. Not an every day, but I think it would still look nice. So that's the first item. The next one is the Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Tick. Skin Stick. The Matchsticks Simmer. The Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Stick. You said it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this one retails for $25. Now I know there was like four different shades that you could have received um, other than this one. So the shade that I got was Chili Mango. And oh, these. That's a beautiful Shade. Yeah, I love the packaging. Mm -hmm. The just plain nude, the honeycomb, and the way these are made is to like latch on to each other. They're like magnetic. Okay, so you can use it as a highlight, a blush, and an enhancer. It's a long wear cream to powder highlight stick. Weightless, blendable, lives to be layered. Okay, so. We can use it as, as a blush then. A blush, yeah, I was gonna say, cause this for oh. sure is not a highlight shade. Not, not for me anyways. That blended out super pretty though. Oh, this is beautiful. It's got that little shimmer to it. Mm -hmm. It's not like so glittery. It, it, it does tone down and turn very pretty. Mm -hmm. You can use it as, as a highlighter. The more you blend it though, look at that. Yeah, all right. Next one is the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $29, really? That's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. Oh wow, that is cheap. And the thing I like about this eyeshadow palette too is it is hefty. Yes. Like it's weighted. It feels luxurious. The packaging is really pretty. I like it. The inside, it is not necessarily a palette that I would probably purchase. If I if I saw it in store, I'd walk past this and be like, mm, whatever. But looking at it, it is very pretty and I, I am happy to have it. There are very pretty shades in here. I think because we already have a lot of palettes that have similar shades. Of course, every brand has its different payoff. It's beautiful. very pretty, very pretty. So mm -hmm. that's exciting. I am super happy to try that, especially as cheap as that is. If it's a good eyeshadow palette and she has other eyeshadow palettes that I am more attracted to. Yeah, like $29, I, yeah. That's cheap for that yeah, many eyeshadows, mm -hmm. yeah. Next one is the Gloss Bomb Universal Lit Luminizer. These I have heard are very popular. This retails for $19. Um, again, it's got the honeycomb shape. I got the shade Diamond Milk. So it looks like it, just a white glittery gloss. Ooh, that's, the, that's pretty. Yeah, short little stubby stick. Feels sticky, but not goopy. I mean, it's just on my hand, so we'll be able to tell later, but. The next one is the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick. This retails for $18, and mine is in the shade PMS. <laughs> this, you could have gotten several shades in. Ooh, I love that packaging. You could have gotten several different shades of this one, and to be honest, I there was a few more that I would have rather had than this one, but I mean, I'll take what I get. Wow, oh, that swatch that is, is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is actually a very, very pretty brown. That is. I like that way more than I thought I would. That reminds me of my high school days. Yeah, it's like the grunge. Yes. I know they had a red, a more nudie color, some other things. It's, I, I like it more now that I swatched it than I did when I first saw it. Yeah. Then the last thing in the box is the Invisimat blotting paper. Oh, there's a, a blotting sheet? Mm -hmm. So you've got your little tube thing. It's got a mirror on it and then your blotting papers. So you open up the main gate. Okay. And then there's, it opens up in the inside too. Okay. So it's just a roll and then you pull it out and then you tear it like a little baby piece of wax paper. That's Yay. so cute. Except I didn't shut it all the way. Oh, I don't know if I have this one. Oh, okay, I got it on right now. Oh, 
Did it work? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it definitely looks like oil got oh, off on there, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. cool. So those are all the products. Ooh. Let's start trying them on, figure out what we like, what we don't like. I was gonna say, I was gonna start with eyeshadow palette. We can both start with it. Okay, our eyes are all done. We did add eyeliner, mascara. She's got lashes on, which we will talk about later. Let me tell you what colors I used first and then she can go over what she used. I used quicksand in my crease, then saffron in the outer corner and a little bit lower in the crease. I used Sahara Stunna in the middle of my lid and Mirage towards the inner and middle of the lid. And then I used Squawk It to me an evil genie below my lash line and then I used it was either I think it was fez up in a little bit in the outer corner to deepen up a little more so that's all I have a bunch of shadows on my eyes and they all worked really well together so tell them what you used I used um, evil genie squawk it to me on the outer corner and then I used I mixed fez up and come and get it right on the crease and then I did a mix of Mirage for the corner of my eye. And then on top of that, I put Mo Rockin' Eyes. Oh, I have that one Mo on the inner corner too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep, I love them. And I love all the shades. They blend it so easily, just mm -hmm. loved everything about it. The, the one thing that I really liked about this palette is with the dark shades. A lot of times with, dark, with palettes with dark shadows, when you put them on the eye, it's kind of hard to blend them out because they are so powerful. You know what I mean? Yes. These ones, I was okay with it. I had to keep going back in and patting it on to get mm -hmm. not necessarily more intensity because they had the intensity, yes. but they just blended out so nicely and it wasn't too much at a time. Like yes. it was nice mm -hmm. to be able to go back into it rather than having too much at a time. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense. Yes, and not only that, what I noticed was the dark colors, it had a little bit of fallout, but not so much as other mm -hmm. products that I've used. So I didn't have a problem of me wiping it off. So yeah. that was a big plus for me. The only major issue that I have that I'm not sure if it's from this palette or from the eyeliner that I used my eyes started getting super watery and started burning a little bit and that has never happened to me before and I know I've used that eyeliner before it right. was actually yours this one's brand new so I don't know if it was because of that or if it's the eyeshadow palette so I will keep you updated on that right but other than that I love this palette way more than I thought I would this is a very surprising palette this is one of the reasons I love BoxyCharm so much because I would have never purchased this right. and I'm in love with it. Right. Yep. Like total yes. in love with it. I yes. will use it again a lot. Yes. That's that. Let's move on to the next product. Actually, let's talk about her lashes real quick. I was going to talk about the BoxyCharm add-ons and I completely forgot. So BoxyCharm, you can add on certain products and one of the products that we both added on were these Lily lashes in the style of Gaia. So that's what I have here. I didn't put mine on um, so you could see them in the box, but she does have hers on and they are beautiful so what are love your them. thoughts on them uh, so far I love them it was just a little bit difficult for me I think because of the band I'm more of a not so thick band for the lashes but mm -hmm. um, so far I love the way they look so mm -hmm. they look great they mm -hmm. look stunning so I'm not putting mine on just because I was having the eye burning problem we will go over the rest of the products that we got in the boxy pop-up later we're gonna finish with what we got now and the next product we're gonna use is the shimmer skin stick now I'm gonna use mine as a blush I use mine as a highlighter highlighter mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how to use something like this just put it on I would assume and, and blend it out I'm just gonna use, blend it out with the beauty blender so we'll see how well that works so I'll put a little bit on my cheeks I do already have a little bit of pink blush on Wow I love that as a blush that's beautiful that's very beautiful I don't know if it's catching on camera the big difference but I love it that shade is that's super beautiful. pretty mm hmm I think it's a good summer uh, blush too, that tangerine-y yes. color. And that looks in the tube extreme, but once you blend it out, it's very pretty. I can barely even tell, to be honest. I mean, I think it blended a little bit with my skin color. Mm-hmm, it must have. I love the way it looks on you though. Thanks, I do too. Yeah. Let's move on to the Fenty Trophy Wife highlighter. This one I was very hesitant about. I still am because it's so gold. Oh, that's gonna be intense. Oh, ho, 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 oh my ho, 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 my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I can see why it's called Trophy Wife. Oh, my God. Now I want to go shopping for beautiful. Fenty Beauty highlighters because I, I know they that. have other ones. And if they all are this consistency and look like this, oh, that's beautiful. 
I it looks love, good on you. Love this wow. color. I love it so much. Oh my god, I feel like a trophy wife now. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. God, it really oh, it's love. so pretty though. See, I can't see anything on this side, so I'm just keep putting it on, but I don't know right, how right. much I'm putting on. Yeah, that's how I am with this side. Packaging, great. Mm -hmm. I love the color of this. Uh, I'm just so surprised with looking at this in the pan with how gold it is. I really, I didn't even want to try it, but it is gorgeous and I'm glad I did because now I want to go out and buy a different highlighter in a different shade. Yes, definitely. For sure. Mm -hmm. Love it. That 10 out of 10. Let's move on to the next product, which would be the last two are the lipsticks. So you start with this, the matte lipstick. I'm going to start with the gloss just to see what the gloss looks like and feels like on its own. And then I want to put that on with the gloss on top. I think you're really going to like this gloss. This feels wonderful. No goopiness at all. It's a very pretty, just nice glittery sheen. I like that there's no color to it. It's just, it's going to be a great topper, but for an everyday lip gloss too. I love the shade. Not, I'm not a fan of how small it is. I think that just makes it a little bit hard to apply. Mm, that's gorgeous. Makes my lips look crooked. They look... No, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wait. I'll top it. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> It's all smooth. It's very smooth. It feels like butter and it applies so easily because there are some where you have to keep applying to get that intensity. Yeah, this one's just boom. I love this one. I love it. Oh yeah, I love that shade. Feels wonderful yes. on the lips. Mm -hmm. I love it going on. I'm, I might have to find an, a lip liner for it mm -hmm. because I don't think it was too hard to put on actually, but I, I'm. it still would just be easier with a lip liner because right. it is such a dark shade but on its own it's just it's fine too i think that was super easy to apply i love the shade so much it's a beautiful shade i, I am love so it. happy i got this i one. love it which yep. is so funny because at first i said this is the last shade i wanted i wanted the other ones but right. no i love this <laughs> all right so now we know what it feels like by itself mm -hmm. i'm gonna add the gloss on it do you want to add the gloss on it or no sure yeah the only thing is i'm gonna ruin the stick uh-uh oops i definitely like it better matte that's pretty. It yeah. is pretty, mm -hmm. but I prefer it just on its own. Not the, I, the, gl the gloss on its own and the lipstick on its own. It feels good still though. Yes, it's not sticky at all. Mm -mm. All right, what's your favorite product out of this box? Highlighter? This one. That's so good. <laughs> I love everything out of this box. Everything. Every single thing performed amazing. It did. Well, well, like, me. really. Everything really well. 10 out of 10, this is one of the best boxes. This is a premium box. This is one of my favorite boxes. This has got to be in my top two for sure. That's it for everything in there. Let's quickly go over what was in the boxy pop-up other than the eyelashes. And you can show them this. This is what you got. Yes. Uh, so this is a Glam Glow uh, mask and moisture. It's got different types of things that it does. It's got the clear, firm, hydrate, detoxify brighten and moisturize so pretty excited to try this i haven't tried this brand before so can't wait yeah since we're on glam glow i ended up getting the glam glow insta mud 60 second pore refining treatment as well as the glam glow super serum it's a refining treatment this one exfoliates plumps and it's pore refining this one smooths softens and evens the skin. I have tried Glam Glow products before mm -hmm. and I know I like them. I'm always up for trying more, so they were cheap. Yeah. Mm. Can't say no to that. Oh, I forgot I got this. This one is by Paracone MD. It's a no rinse micellar cleansing treatment. So it's micellar water. And I used to love using micellar water. Paracone MD, I have tried several like sample size products from them. It was a moisturizer and some other stuff. And I really enjoyed them. I knew I liked the brand. I knew I wanted another micellar water and I wanted to try it again. So I am super pumped to have this. And then the last thing that I got was by Kaja or Kaja Beauty. It's K-A-J-A. -A. I have have had a couple products before from this brand there actually is a video up on my channel it was a eyeliner stamp as well as two little eyeshadow trios from this brand and I absolutely loved those so when I saw this brand on there I wanted it it is a mousse primer which Oh, really wow. intrigued me. Yeah. So like as soon as I saw the brand, I'm like, Moose Primer, that sounds neat. Uh, I'll try this in another video and we'll see how well it works. So those are all from the Boxy Pop-Up. Overall, love this box. We haven't tried the Glam Glow stuff yet, but I am happy to have them. Obviously I purchased those on my own. I think this was a two thumbs up for this box. Yes, four thumbs. Four thumbs Ooh. up. Yay.
All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you uh, leave in the comments below of what you got in your box for the month of March. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, blah, 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 leave them in the comments. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.